Well, they did it. There is now an eyedropper tool in OneNote. Yay! I'm so excited to share this with you today. If you want to learn all about the eyedropper tool, stick with me. Well, hi everyone. This is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And I just want to say welcome or welcome back uh, if you are new here. My name is Crystal and I am a retired teacher. And my job now is to help folks get themselves organized uh, by using OneNote. And it is my favorite life management tool. So if that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and give this video a like, a thumbs up, Hit that subscribe button if you have not already and turn those notification bells all the way on so that you don't miss any of our Friday videos. And with all of that out of the way, let's jump right into this video. I really am excited about this. All right. Well, as you can see here, I am in OneNote. I am in my personal notebook um, and I am in my sticker section which reminds me that I need to create an entire video where I go through and reorganize all of my stickers. Uh, but that's a video for another day. <clears throat> anyway, uh, a couple of months back, I made a video and I will leave it linked up above where I talked about how I uh, get the hex codes or the color numbers uh, for items that will match up to the sticker sets that I use. Okay. And in that video, uh, I talked to you about the fact that I would go out to PowerPoint, uh, take one of the stickers that I was working with, go into PowerPoint and use the eyedropper tool in PowerPoint to get those hex codes. And in that video, I happened to mention that I really, really wish that they would put the eyedropper tool in OneNote. And I got a comment from a viewer. Um, Kimberly Rodriguez uh, wrote to me and said on her system as of June 6th that the eyedropper tool had been put in place. So I ran to my computer, booted it up, brought up OneNote, and voila, there it was. So I want to share that with you today and how you can use that to get your hex code numbers for uh, the graphics and things that you are using. Okay. Now I am going to need a, a little notepad so that I can write down uh, the numbers and stuff because I cannot copy and paste uh, to do that from here. Um, but that's okay. That's not a problem for me. All right. Now what I like to do is I like to use different stickers in my planner on different pages for different reasons. I, I just think it makes it look pretty. And I like to coordinate the colors that go with those stickers for my table shading, for my um, font color, uh, and sometimes even for my Apple Pencil if I'm doing something on my iPad, okay? So it has been a problem for me to be able to get these hex codes. Many sticker designers will share the hex codes with you, but not everybody does. And sometimes I have created my own stickers in Canva or I have uh, drawn something in Procreate and I don't necessarily have the hex code numbers. So I need to get those in order to do all of the matchy matchy kind of thing that I like to do. So that's what I want to show you today. All right. And I like to keep those hex codes on the page with the stickers. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to go up here to the insert menu and I'm going to insert a table so that I can keep track of all of this stuff. I am going to make this table three columns wide and about um, five, maybe six uh, rows long. Okay. And you see here, then that just generates a generic table for me. Okay. I'm going to label this first one color and the second one is going to be my hex code. And the third one is going to be the R, which stands for red, G, which stands for green, and B, which stands for blue, okay? So all of those colors combine together to give you the hex code, okay? Now, now for the exciting part, here we go. Here's where the eyedropper is. It's in our draw menu. And you see in your draw menu 
that you get a number of pens uh, when you first open your draw menu, okay? So I'm gonna go here to this one and I'm gonna click on it and then you see that little tiny down arrow there? All right, when I click on that, that allows me to choose different colors, okay? Uh, I can go down here to more colors and get the usual spectrum of various colors that come up. But what I wanna show you today is the eyedropper. The eyedropper is so exciting, okay? So here's the eyedropper. And as you can see, it is, when I hover it around on the different pictures, the little box is picking up the color and it is giving me those color numbers, okay? So what I normally like to do is I like to pick three to five colors to go uh, with the things that I am doing. I don't usually pick the really, really light colors because they are hard to photograph and they are hard to show here on YouTube, okay? So let's start off with uh, one of these darker pink colors here. And you can see that it lists the RGB colors. Now this is where we need to get our pen handy and our notepad because we need to write these colors down, okay? So for this one, this nice dark pink color, the RGB colors are 230, 181, and 206, okay? And they're calling that pink, all right? So what I'm going to do is I am going to hit enter, okay? And that is now gonna make that pen that particular uh, color, okay, right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to uh, table shading. I'm gonna click in this first color cell here and I want to table shade that. Now there's different ways that you can get to that. You can right click and go down to table and go all the way down to table shading or I happen to have mine on my quick access toolbar. So I'm just gonna go up here to table shading and say more colors, okay? Then when I get to more colors, I don't want standard, I want custom. And what I'm going to do is I am going to type in that red, green, and blue color. So the red was 230 and the green was 181 and the blue was 206. And that gives me the new color there of pink, okay? And the hex code is E6B5CE, okay? And when I click OK, that's going to add that color into that box. Then I can type my hex code over here so I can remember it. So E, capital E, 6, B, 5, C, E. Okay, and then I can also add those RGB colors in case I need those in the future. All right, so I can do that, uh, 230 with a comma, and then 181 with a comma, and then 206, okay? All right, and so there you have it. Now, if I wanted to, uh, you know, use that color shading uh, in the future, it will be right here under my recent colors, okay? So when I'm doing a new sticker set, uh, my new recent colors will be the, the, the most recent one here. But if I haven't used this sticker set in a long time and I need to go back and add, you know, those uh, things for more colors, I can simply go in here and add the hex code if I want, or I can use the RGB colors, okay? All right, so quickly, one more time, just to show you how that works. Let's choose uh, let's go up here to our pen and we're going to do the drop down menu, choose the eyedropper. We're going to pick that nice dark green color there and we're going to write those numbers down. RGB numbers 133, 153, and 128. Okay? And then I'm going to go up here to my color shading, choose my select tool, choose in that one. And I'm going to do um, more colors up here under color shading. And then I am going to type those numbers in. Okay. So that was 133, 153, and 128. Okay. 
okay? And you see that green color there, and that gives me these, this new hex code, okay? So let's write that down. Okay, so when I write that down uh, and I say okay, then that gives me that color there, and again, I can add the hex code. So it's the pound sign 859980, and then I can put my RGB colors. And that was 133, comma, 153, comma, 128. Okay? So you get the idea, right? All right, now, let's say, you know, I am back on a page where I am using these stickers, and I want to uh, do some color shading on that page. If I want to use this pink again, I can copy that, copy it, and then go up here to shading, more colors, custom, go down here, control V to paste, say okay, and then that gives me that pink color back, okay? All right, so if you haven't used them in a while, it's a good idea to store those hex codes on the page that match with your stickers, all right? All right, let me do a couple of more, and then uh, I'll, com I'll come back to you at the end. Okay, well, you know, there you can see how nicely, you know, this sticker coordinates with all of these colors, how nice it would look, uh, you know, with that table shading next to it. I think that is really great, and uh, I really like the way that that is working out, okay? And again, the reason that I do this is so that my uh, pages that I'm setting up and the you know, the table shading and the font colors that I'm using, uh, it works the same way. Okay, so let me show you the font colors real quick. If I go to the home menu here and I choose the font color, you see it comes up. And if I have used it recently, it would be here in recent colors. But let me show you how to get to it from more colors. There's standard. I can also go to custom. And rather than, um, you know, having to type in the RGB colors, I simply can go down here and type in the hex code, okay? So for example, if I want that teal color, I can do 56ACB6, and that new color comes up, and then whatever I start to type will be in the correct color, okay? All right, and it matches perfectly. So if I put it right over top of that, you can't see it, which means it is a perfect match, okay? So having those colors for, you know, if you want to make a quote or something like that, something that stands out a little bit on your page, uh, that might be very helpful, okay? Well, I'm hoping that the light and the, uh, the lighting and the audio of this particular video has been okay. Uh, I have been having a little bit of problems with my computer today, but Anyway, I just wanted to come on quickly because I was so excited and I wanted to share this with you because it alleviates that step of going into PowerPoint to getting those colors, okay? All right. Well, uh, until next time, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized and colorful life <laughs> at, through better planning. I use OneNote and the new eyedropper tool. I'm so excited. All right, now I have to go through and do all of my sticker pages so that I have these hex codes on every single page. All right, until next time. Okay, bye.